my gardening angels and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Jess and I'm really excited for this video today. I'm going to be going over what I am putting in my 2022 garden journal with you. Um, so it's a little bit similar to my previous videos and I will include those down in the links below if you want to look at those as well. Maybe um, you'll find something there that piques your interest, but um, I kind of try to tweak it every year to make it a little bit better for uh, you know, what worked well for me, what didn't work well, just so that I kind of have a better record. So I have a few things that I'm going to change. And of course I'm making it a different theme. Uh, one thing I really like about garden journaling is that you can look back on the previous year, see how much produce you ended up getting. Um, maybe if you record how many plants you planted, that's something to keep in mind too, especially if you're trying to move to be self-sufficient. Um, I am no, nowhere near being there, but I like to see kind of how close I can get. Like this last year, we just finished up our last bag of bell, frozen bell peppers that were from our garden, uh, like last week. So we were really close to actually making it a full season. And so I think if I grew a few more of those plants, maybe I could be so completely self-sufficient because that is something that we tend to eat a lot of. Um, so different things like that are kind of fun to keep track of. Um, and I'll go over some of the different pages with you just to see if that's something that you'd be interested in. For this year's garden journal, I did choose the Shire or the Hobbit theme. Uh, I just felt like that was kind of fitting for a garden uh, to kind of slow down, uh, enjoy the food and outdoors and kind of your company um, and kind of try to slow down from the hustle that we tend to get caught up in. So I wanted to try to make a little artistic beginning page. Um, I am in no means an artist, but I tried my best to make it look pretty when I opened my garden journal for the first time. And I'm trying colored pencils uh, because I really get annoyed when it bleeds through the page. We'll see how that goes. On the first page there on the left, I am just going to be drawing this little old timey scroll. And the quote that I chose was um, from J.R. Tolkien, but it's where there's life, there's hope. And I just thought that was very relevant to gardening um, to, and something to kind of keep in mind as we go through this gardening season. So then the first real page of our garden journal, I wanted to put my goals in my, these were my new year's resolutions uh, that I made back in January. And I'll include a video to that as well if you wanna check that out. But to kind of simplify them here, the first one is automate my irrigation. I am really bad at watering my plants and so, making that automated I think will help tremendously. Having a healthy lawn for yard games and social gatherings I also wanted to prioritize and then wasting less produce um, and I felt like I did a lot better last year at this but there were still a lot of things that I threw away so really focusing on learning how to preserve uh, more effectively and in ways that we will eat the food I think is a big one. Then our next spread is our chicken layout. And so this is where I'm going to keep track of the number of eggs that we get each day. And it's not my favorite. I think I do like the blocked months better than this grid of all of the months, but it will work for this year. Um, I like to call them my dragons. And so we made the, a dragon sign and I have three chickens. And so I wanted to keep track of the expenses that are associated with them and then also kind of the current market value price of a farm fresh egg uh, just kind of something to keep me motivated with the chickens um, they're pretty easy to take care of but uh, I kind of like to look back on that as well and it'll be fun to kind of document for and have that documented for the future so I'm just going to kind of make this daily grid pattern our egg numbers are vastly different each day so that is something that I kind of wanted to keep in track of and um, kind of have documented. Then on the next page is going to be my garden layout and I this was one of the ones that I definitely changed <laughs> so um, in years past I have wrote down where I wanted to plant everything before I planted it and I wrote it down in my garden journal in these little raised bed boxes. Um, that is something I'm changing this year. The only things that are going to be currently documented are my perennials that are already out in my garden planted um, and growing. What I tend to do is plant where I feel like planting and not based on my plan. 
Um, I mean, it's roughly the same, but there's a lot of things that I just kind of throw in where they fit, uh, and then my documentation is not correct. So this year I'm going to try to be better at that and actually document where I plant the plants and not where I wanted to plant the plants, if that makes sense. <laughs> so that is what we are going to be doing here. So the things that are going to be documented uh, are, like I said, the perennials. So the strawberries and our raspberry bed are onion, garlic, and asparagus. And those are the five I think that I currently have growing. I'd love to get some more perennials, uh, but for now that is what is growing in our garden. And then what I thought would be kind of fun is to have this little compass. I realize that it's backwards from what we normally look at, but this is the way my brain looks at our garden, and so, and that's the actual direction of how it lays. Then this page is always really fun for me. This is my market value page and I really like keeping track of this. And again, it's more so that I can look back and actually see kind of what the normal market was charging for some of these items. Um, but I like to do lines of what the item was, how much of it you got for what price, um, and kind of just keeping track of that value I feel like is also really motivating for me to garden and I keep track of that as well on this harvest page when I harvest my plants I kind of calculate how much I would have spent on it at the grocery store uh, so just another thing another idea for you to maybe incorporate this is also something I'm doing different I used to make several harvest pages um, because it does usually take several pages to document everything but then I never actually wrote down the recipes and what I did with all of my vegetables. So that is what the right page is for now, is documenting that stuff. Um, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I hope it inspires you to document in your own garden journal. Thanks for watching.